the mind of Christ this morning we pray God that you would cover every mind Lord God from the flaming arrows of the enemy God we pray God that you would release peace this morning God that you would release everlasting peace Lord peace that only comes from one from one God from one true God Lord we pray for your peace this morning Lord Oh, 
us everything we need. Hallelujah. If we, if we have Jesus, we have everything. Come on, confess that and say, Jesus, if I have you, I have everything. I have everything. I have everything I need, Jesus, because I have you right now. Hallelujah. Come on, just, just say his name, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the resurrected Son of the living God. We love your name, Jesus. We love your name. Your King Jesus. Your King Jesus. 2,000 years ago, Lord, you came into Jerusalem on a donkey, but you were still King Jesus. You came once and you're going to come again. Veniste una vez, Señor, y vas a regresar otra vez. Alabamos tu nombre, el nombre de Jesús. Es el nombre sobre todo nombre. No hay nombre igual que el nombre de Jesucristo. El Hijo del Dios viviente. El que vino una vez y, y regresará para su pueblo. We say, Hosanna, save now. Come now, Jesus. Jesus, just take another moment, just worship that name, Jesus. Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, the Savior, the Son of God. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Cristo, ahí donde estás. Alaba el nombre de Cristo. Él merece toda la gloria y toda la honra para siempre. Bendito sea el nombre de Cristo. Alabamos tu nombre, Señor. No hay nombre igual que Jesucristo. Jesus. Sí, Señor. Thank you, Jesus. I want to ask you wherever you're at, at home or wherever you may find yourself right now, as you join us to grab your Bible. That might be represented by your phone or your tablet. Wherever you're reading the Word of God from today, and I encourage you, join us as we preach from the Word of God, that you would have your Word with you. We have to have our sword. There's no such thing as a soldier without a weapon. We've been given a weapon. It's the sword of the Spirit. Ephesians 6 tells us this is our, this is our weapon. This is the weapon that Jesus used when he fought the devil in the wilderness. And it's our weapon. He gave us the example when the enemy came against us. When he came, the enemy came against him. He fought him with the word of God, with the thus saith the Lord, with the it is written. And if we're going to fight the enemy in our life today, we need to do the same thing. Grab the sword of the spirit. It's precious. Hold it to your heart and realize what a precious gift this is. I want you to hold your word. And I just have one verse that I want to share with you today in Isaiah 40, 31. I want you to hold your word as a symbol that this is what we're relying on today. Not just today, but every day for the rest of our lives. We stand on God's word. We believe his promises. We believe that his words are spirit and they are life. You want life during this time. You feel like your life has come to an end, maybe. Well, here's life right here. His words are spirit in their life. They'll literally breathe life into you. And Isaiah 40, 31 says this. It says, those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall run and not grow weary. They will walk and not grow faint. Those who wait upon the Lord. We are being forced to wait upon the Lord now. But that's not a bad thing. I believe it's a God thing. I believe God has a purpose and he has a plan. He has something he wants to do. Somebody's, somebody asked the question, what do I do if God doesn't open a door? And the response was, praise him in the hallway. Praise him until the door opens. Let's praise him in the hallway right now. You might feel at an in-between place. I want to encourage you to believe his word and praise him in the hallway. Those who wait upon the Lord, let's not resist. Let's not rebel against this place where we find ourselves. But let's ask God, what do you need to do with me right now? It doesn't matter if this is the last day of our life. What matters right now is the condition of our heart. What's the condition of your heart right now? That's the most important question any of us can ask. Those who wait upon the Lord 
shall renew your strength. Watch how God renews your strength as you wait on him and trust him. You'll run and not grow weary. We were running, running so much that sometimes we forgot to worship the Lord the way he created us to. We're running, we're running the race, yes, Paul said, but we also have a walk that we're supposed to, a calling that we're supposed to walk worthy of. We're supposed to walk uh, circumspectly or wisely, redeeming the, the times because they're evil. So there's also a walk and then there's also a wait. Right now we're waiting. And those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. God, what if God is trying to renew your strength right now for what's coming next? For the great, the next revival, the next great awakening, next thing he has for your life. Let's thank him right now for, for putting us in this place to wait. And sometimes we don't want to wait on our own. So he causes us to wait. Let's, let's thank him for allowing us to wait. Lord, we thank you this morning that we could be in your house and we could be together in your presence. We thank you, Lord, because those who worship you must worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, we're not limited to a, to a building. We're not limited to one location. Lord, but we can worship you wherever we are. We pray for your glory and your presence to fill every home right now, to touch every person that's joining us. Lord, we ask you to move in might and power. Convert every home right now into, into a church, a sanctuary, a place where the name of Jesus is worshipped and exalted and lifted up. May every home right now become the church. We are the church. May we not limit you to a location or a time or a day. Right now, move in might. Speak to your people. Reveal yourself. Reveal your glory. Reveal your love. Speak through your word today, Lord. Right now, begin to rearrange, touch, breathe upon lives. Bring the backslider back to you. That's the person who's far from you. Draw them near God. Draw them up into you. You said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Draw every person unto you today for your glory and honor. We thank you for what you'll say and do. In Jesus' name we pray. Together we say, amen and amen. Come on, give him a hand of praise right there where you're at. You can praise Jesus. Come on, he is good all the time. And all the time, he is good. Come on, let's worship him this morning. Come on, sing with me.
you would uh, grab the elements. Hopefully you had them prepared ahead of time. Grab the elements for communion. If you have uh, either a cracker or a piece of bread, maybe uh, hopefully grape juice, not some other juice. We want to get as close as we can to the actual elements. We know uh, we're at home, so it may be limited. If not, please find something else as close as you can to approximate. This is about symbolism. It's about remembering the body and the blood that Jesus shed. The important thing is that we do what Jesus commanded us to. This is a command of Jesus. This is a sacrament that he expects his body to partake of regularly. So it's a, it's a time of reflection. It's a time of remembrance. Jesus commanded us to do this so that we would remember what he did for us. We would remember that he laid his life down, that he was crucified for our sins. He was bruised for our iniquities. He was chastised. He was beaten, broken for our sins and for our healing. Not only is there salvation in the atonement, but there's healing in the atonement. Even as we partake of the Lord's uh, table today, you can be healed right where you're at. You can be delivered right where we're at because we're going back to where it all begins, the cross of Calvary. Listen, every one of us has had to pass by that cross. All of us who are followers of Christ, who are, are, are dis, he's, we're his disciples, we're his followers, we're his children. All of us had to pass by a cross called Calvary where the Son of God laid down his life. No one took his life from him, he willingly laid it down. And he died, and he took the punishment we deserved. But on the third day, he rose from the dead because he lives, we too live. But Jesus commanded us on the night before he was crucified, he was celebrating the Passover with his disciples in, in an upper room. And they're all at the table and they're, they're celebrating a, a time of fellowship, the Passover meal. And we will later find out in 2 Corinthians that Jesus is actually the Passover lamb. He's our Passover lamb. But as they celebrate the Passover meal together in the upper room, Jesus implements the, the communion, what we know now is the Lord's table, the Lord's supper, communion, uh, many different names that are used to describe, but it all means the same thing. It's a, it's a time to pause, it's a time to reflect, a time to remember. My prayer today is that the communion will have a deep meaning and significance for you, wherever you're at, that we'll pause and reflect on the fact that God loved us so much that he sent his only son to die for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him they might be saved. Jesus didn't come to condemn us. He came to save us. Jesus came because he loves us. And every time we take the communion, every time we, every time we partake of the Lord's Supper, we're remembering that great love and the sacrifice that came with it. He was innocent and without sin. He didn't deserve to die. We deserve to pay for our own sins and die. But Jesus loves us so much that he came he came and he died on the cross he shed his blood beaten, battered, broken beyond recognition and he died on that cross and finally towards the end of his time on the cross approximately six hours his hand stretched out he says to the father father forgive them for they know not what they're doing yes he was talking about the Roman soldier but he was also speaking about all of us, humanity, about you and me right now. And then he said the words, it is finished. He completed everything the Father sent him to do for our salvation, for our redemption, that we might be reconciled back to the Father, that that, that canyon, that chasm so wide that separated us and the Father and our ability to have a relationship was removed we can be restored back into relationship with God the Father because of his son Jesus. So we remember. I hope, I hope you have your elements together. I want to ask you to follow uh, under my instruction. We'll take it together. 
Even though we're separated by location, we can all do it together in a spirit of unity. And the spirit of God will minister this to us in a, in a very specific and a unique way to every one of us. We do it corporately, but it, there's so much individual meaning. Not only do we remember what Jesus did on the cross, we remember what he saved us from. Do you remember who you were before you knew Jesus? Before he found you and he saved you and he cleansed you and he healed you he washed you, he made you whole. I know we're not perfect, but we sure are who we used to be since we met Jesus. So we should always go back to that cross. Listen, next Sunday is, is a designated day where we celebrate the resurrection, yes. But in reality, every Sunday is Resurrection Sunday because he resurrected from the dead. We're, we can be here and worship him. Every day, in fact, is resurrection because he resurrected us from the dead. We were dead in our trespasses and sins. And he brought us into his marvelous light. So every day for us is really resurrection day. And every Sunday is resurrection Sunday where God's people gather. Uh, but we're here, at, we're here at the Lord's table. We want to partake of the Lord's Supper, take communion together. It's a special day. And so right where you're at, I just want to, I want to uh, once again state the words of the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians. He explains to them about the communion. He said, on the night before the Lord was crucified. He was in the upper room with his disciples. And he took the bread. That was part of the meal. And he broke it and he gave thanks. And he said, this is my body, which is broken for you. His body which is broken for me and for you. When you love somebody, you don't want to see them hurt or in pain. So when we remember what Jesus endured, at some point, we should feel that hurt too because when we love somebody, we don't want to see them hurt and we definitely don't want to be the ones that cause them to hurt. But I think Jesus also looked at us and saw the hurt and the pain that our sin was causing us. So he was willing to hurt so that we wouldn't have to hurt anymore. And the day will come when he'll wipe every tear that will enter into our rest and we'll be with him for eternity. He will not hurt, we will not hurt, and we'll be in the relationships he created us and intended us to be in. And on that night, he took the bread and he broke it. He gave thanks. He said, this is my body which is broken for you. Speaking prophetically of what was to occur just a few hours later. So we take the bread in remembrance of Jesus' body that was broken for us. We take it together now. Lord, we remember. We remember what you endured for us. Your body was broken, battered, were broken for us. You endured the punishment that we deserve and you did it out of love. And we remember, Lord, we, we go in our hearts and in our, in our imagination and in our thoughts back to that, that place, that hill called Calvary where you hung on a cross and took our sins took God's hand, you took humanity's hand and placed them on your chest and put us back together again. You remembered us, Lord. You remembered us. You put us back together. And we thank you. We remember Jesus. And that same night, he took the cup. He said, this is the new covenant which is in my blood. As often as you gather, do this in remembrance of me. This is the new covenant. We are in covenant together with Jesus. We have made a pact a pact has been made, him with us. And when we believe in him, we agree to that pact, a covenant, a contract that is, that is signed with his name and his blood. And we remember his blood that was shed for us. There can be no forgiveness, and no remission of sins without the shedding of blood. By his stripes, we are healed. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. 
chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. So we remember his blood, which is the new covenant, which is our salvation and our healing. And we remember, we remember today, the remembrance of his great sacrifice. And to take it together. Jesus, we love you. We thank you and we remember your precious blood that was shed for us. Though our sins are scarlet, you wash them white as snow. What can take away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for your precious blood. The same blood that was shed on Calvary flows to humanity today, right now. Flows to us right now. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over every person here today, every person watching, over our cities, over our families, over our nation, over this world. We pray today that the blood of Jesus would flow to every corner of this world, that you to bring salvation and healing with this new covenant that's been established by your sacrifice and your blood. We love you and we remember today, Jesus. We remember all that you endured and all that you did for us. You've completed the work. You will see us through. We love you. Would you just lift your hands right where you're at right now and thank Jesus for his death, for what he endured for you, the punishment that he took, the blood that he shed. Hallelujah. He did it for you and for me. And so let's worship him now. Porque no adoramos el nombre del Señor, dándole gracias por todo lo que él hizo por nosotros. Cuando murió en la cruz, derramó su preciosa sangre por nosotros para que nosotros pudiéramos tener perdón de nuestros pecados, para para que pudiéramos tener salvación. Le damos gracias ahorita en el nombre de Jesús. Recordamos Calvario, donde tú muriste por nuestros pecados, Señor, y cumpliste la obra de salvación para la humanidad. Damos gracias, Señor, en el nombre de Jesús.
something about that name Jesus something about that name Jesus the word of God describes that there's no other name under heaven and earth like the name of Jesus and we have the privilege and the honor to call upon that name to call upon the name of Jesus when we could stop and we could think and understand what is associated with that name salvation grace mercy love forgiveness healing and we have the privilege and honor to call upon this name Jesus Jesus can you just raise not only your hands but your heart and just personal my Jesus my Savior my Lord my God Jesus wonderful name of Jesus as we had took communion again the word tells us that by his stripes we are healed also in 1 John 3 8 it says for this reason the Son of God appeared and he appeared that he may destroy the works of the enemy and we ask what may be the works of the enemy fear uncertainty anxiety all these things that the enemy would keep you from looking and understanding and knowing that again we have one who has come again to change life to change our tomorrow and that name is Jesus Jesus there's a story in the book of Mark and it talks that there was a blind man but he heard Jesus was coming through and what he did is he began to yell the name Jesus son of David Jesus the son of David and it says that those around him begin to tell him to be quiet don't yell don't don't cry out to him just just keep it low-key but he knew that the answer lied right there in front of him he knew that if he called the name of Jesus that he would answer he just began to cry louder Jesus Jesus him this what is it that you would have me to do for you and I believe this morning right where you are at God would ask you what is it that you would have me to do what is it that you are in need of your life he tells us to come before his throne boldly and to make our needs known come by in faith, childlike faith, and this is what we do. This is what we're going to do. Right now we have a prayer request for Angelica Estrada, who has had the virus, has been recovering, and is believing for total restoration, healed in the name of Jesus. Amen? This is the God that we serve. This is the God that we serve, where man says that there is no hope, there's no cure. We have the cure. His name is Jesus. For Jesse De La O, it says the church prayed for my sister's cancer test. Unfortunately, it came back positive. She's in stage and kidney cancer, but her faith is strong. Please pray for healing, as only God can do. There is nothing too difficult for God. 
If we believe that the Word of God is truth, then we can go from beginning to the end and we can see time after time after time the hand of God bringing miracle after miracle. The blind to see, the lame to walk, even the dead brought back to life because this is the God that we serve. As it was said on that cross, he says, it was finished. By your stripes, we are healed. So this is the faith that we come and we approach our God. Father, we just come before you right now in the precious name of Jesus. We just thank you. We give you honor. We give you glory, Lord. Because again, there is no name under heaven, Lord God. At the name of Jesus. Lord, we lift up these requests this morning, Lord God. We pray by God again in the name of Jesus that you would just bring healing, Lord God. Bring comfort and strength, Lord God, to Jesse, Lord. She understood, my God, what has been said, but she believes your report. She believes, my God, that you are able to go beyond and above all that she can ask. That even she's in the stage of cancer, Lord God, you can bring healing. You can bring wholeness. You can be comfort and rest not only to her body, but to her spirit. Do so, my God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, my God. Father, we pray for Angelica, my God, who is going through this process of your healing. Continue, my God, to bring restoration. Continue, my God, to bring uh, 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 breath to her lungs. Continue, my God, to stir within her, my God, that faith and hope for more, Lord God, because this is the God that we serve. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord. We pray, my God, for the troubled mind and hearts. We pray, my God, a kid, that your peace that passes all understanding would rest upon them, Lord God. The security of your presence within their lives, my God, that would grant them strength, my God, again, to face, my God, what is coming. To stand secure, Lord God, on your word and your promises, Lord. That you are not man, that you would lie, but you, again, will fulfill that which is needed within these lives, Father. Security rest, comfort as you have promised through your Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray for provision. Father, that you again are he who owns the cattle on a thousand hill. Let there be, my God, that which is needed in the home. Food. Finances. May you bind, my God, the families together in your love. That they continue to worship in that place where they are at. To love you, to honor you, to lift you up, Lord. We also lift up our government, my God, from the president, my God, Congress, Lord God, Senate, Lord God, each and every house, Lord God, governors, mayors, Lord God, all of those, my God, who are on the forefront, doctors, nurses, firefighters, police, all those, my God, that are in the forefront, Lord God, cover them with your presence. Cover them with your security, my God. Watch over them. Be their protector, Lord God. We pray also for provision, my God, for them, for all that is necessary, my God. All the PPEs, my God, that is needed for their life, Lord God, in order to conduct, my God, this time of service. Father, in all things, we are so, so very careful to give you the honor and the glory because there is no one like you. There is no one like you. And we give you the praise for your faithfulness. And again, we thank you for what you are going to do in the lives of your people. May you be blessed, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. What we want to do is we want to encourage you that, again, 
it's not only about the Sundays, but we have so many different opportunities of ministry. We have we have uh, uh, um, the prayer targets. We have again a word from our pastor. We have the Bible studies on Wednesday, this Friday also. We know that it's Good Friday, so we want to encourage you and. Block and join us as we worship the Lord. Amen. For any other services, sermons, or, or prayer targets, please go to our website, tdlc.org. Amen. God is good. And His goodness, we desire to worship Him. So we pray that in whatever manner you can, that we honor our Lord with our giving. You can send your tithes and offerings to the church. Or you can text it to the TDLC. And again, we praise you. We thank you, my God, for all that you do. And we give for your honor and your glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Give the the, uh, the Lord a hand of praise for our worship team, please. We thank God for our worship team. They've been praying and seeking God to be able to be a blessing to God's people. Han estado orando para hacer una bendición al pueblo de Dios. So let's give them. And why don't you give them a, a, a God bless you on the comments as well? Say thank you, worship team, uh, brother Luis, sister Mel, uh, brother Javier, and the whole team. Uh, Jacob and Joseph, uh, Anthony and uh, Abidan. Let's let's give the Lord a hand of praise for them. And uh, you can't give them a little Señor. shout out. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Denle un, un, uh, un saludo a ellos, al equipo de, de alabanza, por favor. Ahí si puedes, en los comentarios de, de Facebook Live. Yes. Just let them know we appreciate them. Well, greetings in the name of the Lord. Uh, Buenos días en el nombre del Señor. We're so glad that you could be with us today. Uh, estamos contentos de estar con que ustedes están con nosotros. Uh, we thank God for His grace. Uh, le damos gracias a Dios por su gracia. During this difficult time. Durante este tiempo tan difícil. Uh, never before. Nunca antes. Like like today. Como hoy. And this time. Y en este tiempo. Have we experienced? Hemos experimentado. What it's like. Lo que es. To worship God in spirit and in truth. Alabar a Dios en espíritu y en verdad. Because we're all in many different places. Porque estamos en muchos diferentes lugares. Still worshiping the same God. Alabando al mismo Dios. In spirit. En espíritu. And in truth. Y en verdad. We want to say a big God bless you. Uh, queremos decir Dios le bendiga. Uh, to all the medical workers. A todos los trabajadores uh, en médicos. 
for all the first responders para los los que responden a uh, pri, uh, los principales all the organizations y todas las organizaciones that are working to help people during this time que están uh, trabajando para ayudar a la gente en este tiempo you are in our prayers están en nuestras oraciones every day todos los días We're praying for you Estamos orando por and, ustedes and your families. Y por sus familias. We thank God for Convoy of Hope. Le damos gracias a Dios por Convoy of Hope. And, and also Samaritan's Purse. Y también a Samaritan's Purse. Uh, two organizations that are helping people right now. Son dos organizaciones que están ayudando a, a, al pueblo hoy. And so many others. Y a muchos otros. Also want to send greetings to pastors. Uh, quiero darle un saludo a los pastores. I know this has been a challenging time for many. Yo sé que este ha sido un tiempo de desafío para muchos but we're so blessed pero somos tan bendecidos to see pastors working to feed their flock a uh, de ver a los pastores trabajando para alimentar a su a su uh, a sus ovejas it's been inspiring ha, ha sido in, de inspiración You're, you've been a blessing ha sido de bendición not just to your community no solo a tu comunidad but to many others sino a muchas otras so we thank god for you le damos gracias a dios por ti and we're praying for you y estamos orando por ti There's a verse that comes to mind. Hay un verso que viene a mente. It says in 1 John 5:4. It dice en primera de Juan 5:1. Uh, 5:4. 5:4. It says for everyone who has been born of God. Porque todo uh, el que ha nacido de Dios. Overcomes the world. Uh, vence al mundo. And this is the victory. Y esta es la victoria that has overcome the world. Que ha vencido al mundo. Our faith. Nuestra fe. Our faith is seeing us through. Nuestra fe nos está llevando adelante. I don't know what I'd do right now if it wasn't for my faith in God. Yo no sabría lo que yo haría en este momento si no fuera por mi fe en Dios. And I bet you feel the same way. Y yo sé que tú te sientes de la misma manera. It's our faith that's going to see us through. Es nuestra fe la que nos va a ver a través de este de este tiempo. So let's keep standing on God's word. Vamos a estar parados sobre la palabra de Dios. It is a it is a lamp to our feet es una lámpara a nuestros pies and a light to our path y una luz a nuestro camino we are walking through a dark time estamos caminando en un en tiempo oscuro but we have a light pero tenemos luz we have a lamp tenemos una lámpara it's the word of god y es la palabra de dios so lamp to our feet es una lámpara a nuestros pies to our feet right now a nuestros pies ahora mismo and it's a light y es una luz to our path a nuestro camino to what lies ahead a, a lo que nos espera por delante. It's our faith es nuestra fe. That's going to see us through. Lo que nos va a ayudar a través de todo. The Lord is our refuge. El Señor es nuestro refugio. And our strength. Y nuestra fortaleza. An everlasting help in a time of need. Nuestro presto auxilio en la tribulación. Therefore we will not fear. Así que no temeremos. Psalm 91.10. Uh, Salmo 91.10. We declare. Declaramos. Every day. Todos los días. That no evil shall befall us. Que ningún mal nos sobrevendrá. Nor any plague come near our dwelling. Ni plaga tocará nuestra morada. We declare the blood of Jesus. Declaramos la sangre de Cristo. Over every doorpost of every home. Sobre todo tintel de cada casa. Over every heart. En cada corazón. Over every family. Sobre cada familia. Over our finances. Sobre nuestras finanzas. Over our churches. Sobre nuestras iglesias. Over our cities. Sobre nuestra ciudad. Over our nation. Sobre nuestra nación. And over the world. Y sobre el mundo. The blood that Jesus shed. La sangre que Jesús vertió. Continues to flow today. Sigue fluyendo hoy. And there's power in the blood. Y hay poder en su sangre. I said there's power in the Dije blood. Dije que hay poder en la sangre. Somebody at home say there's power in the blood of Jesus. Alguien en la casa diga hay poder en la sangre de there's Jesús. There's power in the blood. Blood of Hay Jesus. poder en la sangre de Jesús. Glory be to God. Gloria a Dios. There's power. Hay poder. Today is Palm Sunday. Hoy es uh, Domingo de Ramos. And so we celebrate. Así que celebramos this last week of Jesus's life. Esta última semana en la vida de Jesús. Before I continue, y antes de continuar, I want to remind everyone. Yo quiero recordarles a todos. My Templo de la Cruz family, especialmente a, a la familia de Templo de la Cruz. The first Sunday of every month, que el primer domingo de cada mes, is Communion Sunday. Es es uh, domingo de comunión, but also Missions Giving Sunday. Pero también Uh, da, uh, el dar a las misiones. And so every every first Monday of the month, uh, todo uh, primer lunes, we collect an offering. El domingo colectamos una ofrenda. A missions offering. Una ofrenda misionera. And uh, there's a specific one we collect for. Pero hay una específica que recogemos. That we ask for above and beyond giving. Que pedimos uh, sobre lo que damos. And it's the uh, 
el camino school en Managua, Nicaragua. And y, y es de el, la escuela de el camino en Managua, Nicaragua. This is in the poorest neighborhood in Managua. Esta escuela está en, lo, en, el, en el, la vecindad más pobre de Managua. Some missionaries from the Assemblies of God started a school. Misioneros de las Asambleas de Dios comenzaron esta escuela. And they've gone on to glory. Y ya ellos están en la gloria. But the school is still there. Pero la, la, la escuela todavía está ahí. And Casa de Mi Gloria. En Casa de Mi Gloria. In Managua, Nicaragua. In Managua, Nicaragua. Are sustaining that school. Están sosteniendo a esa escuela. And they do it through our giving. Y lo hacen a través de nuestro de, de nuestra dádiva. And and many others. Y de muchos otros. So I want to encourage you. Así que quiero animarles. If you please be faithful in that giving to El Camino. Que sean fiel en dar a la la escuela El Camino. The school is blessed. La escuela está bendecida. And growing. Y creciendo. Because of the giving of people from Templo de la Cruz. Por los, las dádivas de, que, que se han dado de, de Templo de la Cruz. And I want to tell my Nicaraguan family, Quiero decirle a mi, fa, a mi familia nicaragüense. My family in the faith, a mi familia en la fe. Pastor ne, ne, uh, Nathan and Christine Alfaro. Al Pastor Nathan y Cristina Alfaro. And their whole church. Y toda su iglesia. We love you. Los amamos. And we're praying for you. Y estamos orando por ustedes. And also our Dominican Republic family. También nuestra, nuestra familia de la República Dominicana. Pastor Carpio. El Pastor Carpio. And uh, Arias. Y Arias. And Joselino. Y Joselino. We're also praying for you. Estamos orando por ustedes también. We love you. We thank God for you. Le amamos y le damos gracias a Dios por ustedes. And of course for all of our Templo de la Cruz family we're praying y daily. Y por supuesto por nuestra familia de Templo por quien oramos diariamente. Okay, can we put up the slide for giving one more time? Uh, vamos a poner la información para, para dar. I just want to I just want to make sure we we're still continue to be a blessing church. I hope you understand and are patient. Quiero estar segura de que uh, sig sigamos siendo una iglesia dadivosa. So on, on our giving through text, en, uh, en nuestro dar a través de texto, uh, when you follow the instructions, siga las instrucciones. There's a drop down. Uh, hay un hay, hay un, me, un menú que es, que sale. And you can choose uh, Nicaragua School. Y se puede escoger a uh, la escuela de Nicaragua. Okay, thank you. Gracias. Let's go to Luke chapter 19. Vamos a Lucas capítulo 19. We're going to read about the triumphal entry. Vamos a hablar de la entrada triunfal. Also known as Palm Sunday. También conocida como el Domingo de Ramos. L Luke 19, 28. Lucas 19, 28. 28. And so I'll read first in English. Uh, lo voy a leer en inglés. And Pastor Jackie will read it in Spanish. Pastor Jackie lo va a leer en español. And can we give the Lord a hand of praise for Pastor Jackie? Gloria a Dios. I thank God for you, Pastor Jackie. You can translate, please. <laughs> gracias, uh, damos gracias a Dios por la historia aquí. I've heard, of, I've got nothing but great feedback about the job that you're doing. Uh, he tenido buenos, buenos comentarios acerca del trabajo que estás haciendo. And her sermons are awesome too. I should be translating for her. Y sus sermones son, <laughs> amen. <laughs> she, she, she won't say it. <laughs> Yo debo de estar trans, uh, uh, haciendo interpretación para ella porque ella es tremenda predicadora. Y somos gracias por ella. Amen. Uh, <laughs> Luke 19:28. Lucas 19:28. Are you ready? Están listos. Put your hands on your ears. Ponga sus manos en sus oídos. And say, Lord, give me an ear to hear. Y dile, Señor, dame oídos para oír. What your spirit wants to say to me today. Lo que tu espíritu quiere decir. Touch your heart. Toca tu corazón. Say, Lord. Y dice, Señor. Let my heart be good soil. Deja que mi corazón sea buen terreno. For the seed of the word of God. Para la semilla de la palabra. That it will bear fruit for you. Que dé fruto para ti. Give me a rhema word. Dame una palabra rhema. An on time word. Dame una palabra en tiempo. An eternal word. Una palabra eterna. The word that brings life. Una palabra que trae vida. For your glory. Para tu gloria. In Jesus' name. En, en el nombre de Jesús. All right, Luke 19:28. I'm going to read. Uh, the whole passage, and Pastor Jackie will read it in Spanish. And it reads, when he, had, when he had said this, he being Jesus, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass when he drew near to Bethphage and Bethany at the mountain called Olivet, or the Mount of Olives, that he sent two of his disciples, saying, go into the village opposite you, where as you enter you will find a colt tied on which no one has ever sat. Loose it and bring it here. And if anyone asks you, why are you loosening it? 
Thus you shall say to him, because the Lord has need of it. So those who were, who were sent went their way and found it just as he had said to them. But as they were loosing the colt, the owner of it said to them, why are you loosing the colt? And they said, the Lord has need of him. Then they brought him to Jesus and they threw their own clothes on the colt and they set Jesus on him. And as he went, many spread their clothes on the road. Then as he was now drawing near the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Amen. Amen. Dicho esto, iba delante subiendo a Jerusalén. Y aconteció que llegando cerca de Betfagé y de Betania, al monte que se llamaba de los olivos, envió dos de sus discípulos diciendo, ir a la aldea de frente y, y la, 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 al entrar en ella, hallaréis un pollino atado, en el cual ningún hombre ha montado jamás. Desatadlo y traedlo. Y si alguien os preguntare, ¿por qué lo desatáis? Le responderéis así, porque el Señor lo necesita. Fueron los que habían sido enviados y hallaron como Él les dijo. Y cuando desataban el pollino, sus dueños le dijeron, ¿por qué desatáis al pollino? Ellos dijeron, porque el Señor lo necesita. Y lo trajeron a Jesús, y habiendo echado sus mantos sobre el pollino, subieron a Jesús encima. Y a su paso tendían sus mantos por el camino. Cuando, llegaba, cuando llegaban ya cerca de la bajada del monte de los olivos, toda la multitud de los discípulos gozándose comenzó a alabar a Dios a grandes voces por todas las maravillas que habían visto. Diciendo, bendito el Rey que viene en el nombre del Señor. Paz en el cielo y gloria en las alturas. Amen. Lord bless your people. Señor, bendice a tu pueblo. Speak to your people. Habla a tu pueblo. Cut through any chaos. A, a corta a través de cada caos. Any confusion. En cada confusión. And penetrate every heart. Y penetra cada corazón. With the light of the gospel. Con la luz del evangelio. For your glory. Para tu gloria. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Amen. Again, God bless you. Thank you for being with us. Nuevamente, Dios le bendiga. Gracias por estar con nosotros. We're celebrating Palm Sunday. Estamos celebrando el Domingo de Ramos. And uh, we're going to have a Palm Sunday message. Y vamos a tener un, un mensaje del, para este Domingo de Ramos. And so let's get into the Word. Vamos a entrar en la Palabra. So first of all, when we talk about palms. Uh, cuando hablamos de palmas. Uh, and I, this is my 17th year at Temple of de la, 16th year at Temple of de la Cruz. Y este es el, el año 16. Tengo 16 años de estar en Templo de la Cruz. And every other Palm Sunday before today. Y todos los otros domingos de Ramos antes de hoy. We waved palms in the sanctuary. Uh, eh, levantábamos uh, palmas dentro del santuario. The worship team would wave palms. El, el uh, equipo de alabanza las, las movía. The congregation would wave palms. Uh, las, la congregación las elevaba. And we'd have a great time waving palms all over the place. Y teníamos un buen tiempo uh, levantando las palmas en todo lugar. And we would jump. Y saltábamos. And we dance. Y danzábamos. With the palms. Con las palmas. And sometimes, sometimes we would just rejoice with the waving of the palms. Y muchas veces solamente nos regocijábamos simplemente en levantarlas. So I have a lot of great memories about waving Así palms. Así que tengo buenas memorias acerca de la, uh, las palmas. We don't have palms today. No tenemos palmas hoy. But we still rejoice in God's presence. Pero nos regocijamos en la presencia de Dios. So I just have a couple things I want to say about palms. Tengo algunas co uh, unas cuantas cosas a, a decir de las palmas. First of all, palms grow in a hot climate. Primeramente, las palmas crecen en en clima en un clima caliente. And there are, there are over 2000 kinds of palms. Y hay más de 2000 clases de palmas. Now in historical times, en uh, históricamente uh, palms have been the symbol for victory. Las palmas han sido a uh, señal de victoria. A uh, symbol of peace. As uh, uh, han sido símbolo de paz. And fertility. Y de fertilidad. And they would grow big enough. Y ellas crecen uh, de tal manera. To be a canopy. Que parecen pa eh, que cubren. And the palm branch. Y la la el el ramo la rama. La rama de ramo. Yes. 
It was also a symbol of triumph and victory. Era también un símbolo de, de triunfo y de victoria. In Roman times. En el tiempo romano. In the times that Jesus lived. En los tiempos que Jesús vivió. And the Roman Empire. Y el imperio romano. Would reward their champions. Uh, le daban gracias a sus campeones. Uh, of the games that they celebrated. Uh, de los de los juegos que ellos celebraban. And even the successes in war. Y todos los triunfos de guerra. They would give them palm branches. Ellos le daban uh, uh, ramas de palma. And also the Jews y a, y los judíos también had a tradition una una tradición of carrying palm branches de le, de llevar, uh, palmas during festive times uh, durante días festivos, such as the Feast of Tabernacles. Como la fiesta de los tabernáculos. So there's just some preliminary information on palms. I, 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 aquí tenemos un poco de información preliminaria acerca now, de palmas. Now here in the story in Luke 19 Ahora aquí en la historia, en Lucas 19 it's also told in Matthew 21. También se se dice esta historia en Mateo 21. And every gospel, en cada evangelio, there's a good amount of time allotted to this period of Jesus's life. Se le da un bastante tiempo a este periodo de tiempo de la vida de Cristo. It's the last week of Jesus's life. Es la última semana de la vida de Jesús. That he lived on this earth. Uh, que vivió en esta tierra. So this is the beginning of the end. Así que este es el principio del fin. So this is the last week of Jesus' life. Esta es la última semana de la vida de Jesús. He lived 33 and a half years. Vivió 33 años y medio. And he's coming to the end of his life on earth. Y está llegando al final de su vida en la tierra. He left his glory. Dejó su gloria. In heaven. En, en el cielo. To come to earth. Para llegar a la tierra. To reconcile man back to God. Para reconciliar al hombre con Dios. Everything was coming together and to an end. Todo estaba uh, juntándose para llegar a este fin. Everything that had happened already. Todo lo que había sucedido anterior. Was preparation for this week. Fue preparación para esta semana. Which is the son of God dying on the cross. Que es el hijo de Dios muriendo en la cruz del Calvario. For the sins of humanity. Por los pecados de la humanidad. Come on, somebody give Jesus a praise for Alguien that. Alguien una alabanza Señor. Now Jesus is headed to Jerusalem. Ahora Jesús está uh, llegando a Jerusalén. For the Passover festival. Para la, la fiesta de la Pascua. And he's been going there his whole life. Y él estaba yendo ahí toda su vida. But this time it would be different. Pero esta vez sería diferente. He would be the Passover lamb. Él iba a ser el, el cordero de pa Pascual. He would be the Passover lamb. Él iba a ser el cordero Pascual. Every other Passover lamb. En eh, todos los oh, las otros corderos. Pointed to Jesus the Passover lamb. Apuntaban a Jesús el Cordero Pascual. Every other Passover lamb Toda, todo otro cordero that was sacrificed que fue sacrificado was pointing to Jesus. Estaba apuntando a Jesús. Pointing to this day. Estaba apuntando a este día. That when Jesus would be crucified on the cross. Cuando Cristo sería crucificado en la cruz. Jesus is our Passover lamb. Jesús es nuestro cordero pascual. Every family would offer a lamb. Toda, toda familia ofrecería un, un cordero. Every household would offer a lamb. Toda, todo hogar eh, ofrecería un cordero. They all had their own lamb. Cada uno tenía su cordero. But But Jesus is the Passover lamb. Pero Jesús es el Cordero Pascual. Not just for one family. No solo para una familia. Not just for one household. No solo para una casa. But for every single person who's ever lived on the face of the earth. Sino para cada persona que ha vivido sobre la faz de la tierra. He's the Passover lamb for all of humanity. Él es el Cordero Pascual para toda la humanidad. He is the Passover lamb. Él es el Cordero Pascual. And we thank God for his sacrifice. Y le damos gracias a Dios por su sacrificio. We thank God for Jesus. Le damos gracias por Jesús. First Corinthians 5, 7 says, Primera de Corintios 5, 7 dice, He is our Passover lamb. Uh, que él es el Cordero Pascual. That was sacrificed for us. Que fue sacrificado por nosotros. And he blessed every family of the earth. Y él bendijo a toda la familia de la tierra. This reminds me of Genesis 12, 3. Me recuerda a Génesis 12:3. When God told Abraham, cuando a uh, Dios le dijo a Abraham, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Que en, que en él todas las familias de la tierra serían bendecidas. By his offspring. Por por sus por sus generaciones. He was speaking of Jesus. Estaba hablando de Jesús. Jesus blesses every family. Jesús bendice a todas las familias. Every family can receive the blessing of God. Todas las familias pueden recibir la bendición de every Dios. Every household can receive the salvation of God. Todo hogar puede recibir la bendición de, y la salvación de Dios. Because the seed of Abraham. Por la, por la simiente de Abraham. The son of David. El hijo de David. The son of God. El hijo de Dios. Jesus Christ. Jesucristo. The Passover lamb. El, el Cordero Pascual. Your family is blessed. Tu familia está bendecida. Because of Jesus Christ. Por Cristo Jesús. I said your family is blessed. Te he dicho que es bendecida. 
because of Jesus Christ. Por Cristo Jesús. Would you look at your family and say we're blessed? Mira tu familia y dile somos bendecidos. Because of Jesus Christ. Por Cristo Jesús. Come on, give somebody an elbow tap and say we're blessed because of Jesus Christ. Dele a alguien con su codo y diga le estamos bendecidos por Cristo Jesús. Come on, give him an air hug and say we're blessed because of Jesus Christ. Dele un abrazo en el aire y diga le somos bendecidos por Cristo Jesús. Give him an air high five and say we're blessed because of Jesus Christ. Dele un un cinco alto en el aire Come on, porque give somos bendecidos por Cristo Jesús. Praise. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a social distance praise. Dele, dele, dele alabanza de distancia social. Come on, somebody. Come on. <laughs> so here is Jesus. Aquí está Jesús. Entering to the last week of his life on Entrando earth. Entrando la última semana de su vida en la tierra. He has traveled very far on foot to get here. Ha, ha llegado de muy lejos a pie para llegar aquí. And he's at the top of the Mount of Olives. Y está en la en las cumbres de la montaña del, del el monte de los olivos. Which is east of Jerusalem. Que está al este de Jerusalén. He sends his disciples into the village. Él envió a sus discípulos al 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 pueblo uh, cercano. Just across from them. Uh, que estaba a cruzar de ellos. And he says, You'll see a donkey. Y le dijo, van a ver un pollino. And a colt there. Y, uh, un, un, un pollino. Untie it and bring it to me. Tráiganlo, uh, desátenlo y tráiganlo. Go and untie it and bring it to me. Vayan, desátenlo y tráiganlo. One more time. Go untie it and bring it to me. Una vez más, uh, suéltenlo y tráiganmelo. I have a question for you today. Tengo una pregunta para ti hoy. Could it be that Jesus wants to untie you from something right now? Puede ser, podría ser que Cristo quiere desatarte de algo hoy? I said, does Jesus want to untie you from something right now? Quiere Jesús desatarte de algo hoy? Is there something in your life that Jesus wants to untie you from? Hay algo en tu vida que Cristo quiere desatar? Hebrews talks about the sin we are so easily entangled with. Los, el libro de los Hebreos habla del pecado que nos nos acecha. We're like a cat with the ball of yarn. Somos como el gato con una bola de, de, de hilo. We get all tied up. Y nos, nos amarramos solos. And we can't walk. Y no podemos caminar. Because we're all tied up. Porque estamos uh, atados. And we're all, un, we're all tangled. Y estamos uh, uh, todos enredados. But then Jesus comes into our life. Pero Jesús viene a nuestra vida. He begins to unwrap us. Y, y comienza a desatarnos. And untangle us. Y, y, a, y a desarrollarnos. And untie us. Y, y soltarnos. So we can walk in freedom. Para que podamos caminar en libertad. Unhindered. Uh, sin, sin molestia. Without distraction. Sin distraction. Without anything in our way. Sin nada en nuestro camino. So that we can be who Jesus created us to be. Para que seamos quien Cristo nos designó a ser. I ask again. Pregunto nuevamente. Is there something Jesus wants to untie you from? Hay right algo now? que Cristo quiere desatarte hoy. Is there something in this time of separation? Hay algo en este tiempo de separación that Jesus wants to untie you from? que Jesús quiere desatarte. Is there something in your life? Hay algo en tu vida. Is there someone in your life? Hay alguien en tu vida that Jesus wants to untie you from? que Cristo quiere desatarte. He unties people. Él desata a gente. From things that are holding them back. De las cosas que los, los, los están deteniendo. From fulfilling his purpose in their life. Deteniendo de, de llegar a su, a su, a su, al alcance de lo que él quiere para sus vidas. Look at your neighbor and say, Jesus wants to untie you. Mira a tu vecino y dile, él quiere desatarte. Now Jesus tells his disciples. Jesús le dice a sus discípulos. If anyone says anything. Si alguien le dice algo. Tell them the Lord has use of it. Dígale porque el Señor lo necesita. And they'll give it to you. Y, y se lo darán. I think that's pretty cool. Yo pienso que eso es tremendo. If anybody questions you. Si alguien le hace preguntas. Just tell them Jesus wants it. Dígale Jesús lo quiere. Jesus needs it. Jesús lo necesita. And they'll be like, oh, okay, go ahead y, then. Go ahead, do your thing. Y van a decir, all right, okay, llévatelo. Go ahead and take it. Llévalo. It's Jesus. It's es, anyway. es, es Jesús. And... He says, bring it to me. Él dijo, tráigamelos. And this is actually fulfillment of scripture. Y esto es el cumplimiento de las escrituras. A prophecy in Zechariah 9. Es una profecía en Zacarías 9. Verse 9. Y verso 9. And it says, tell the daughter of Zion. Y dile a la hija de Sion. Behold, your king is coming to you. Uh, viene tu rey. Lowly. Uh, manso. And sitting on a donkey. Y sentado sobre un pollino. A colt. Un, un, un asno. The foal of a donkey. Hijo de un pollino. Now what's amazing about this is. Uh, lo que es grande acerca de esto. That in the middle of all that's going on. Es que en medio de todo lo que está pasando. Here is Jesus fulfilling prophecy. Aquí está Jesús llenando la profecía. Crossing every T. Cruzando cada T. 
dotting every I. Poniéndole un punto a, 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 a toda I. Jesus fulfilled every prophetic word. Jesús uh, cumplió toda palabra profética. That was ever spoken of him. Que había sido dicha acerca de él. Jesus fulfills the prophecies. Él llenó la profecía. The reason he did it. La razón por la que la, lo hizo. Because he wants us. Es porque quiere que nosotros. Humanity. La humanidad. To know. Que nosotros sepamos that he is the one sent from God. Que él es el enviado de Dios. Come on, I said he's the one that que was sent from God. Él es el que fue enviado por Dios. He's the one that God sent. Él es el, el que Dios envió. And he fulfilled every prophecy. Y llenó toda profecía. So that we would know. Para que nosotros sepásemos. Amongst all the other gods. Que de entre todos los otros dioses. Small g. A uh, pequeño, pequeña de. With all the other gods that are out there. Con todos los otros dioses que hay allá. With all the idols. Uh, con todos los ídolos. With all the philosophies. Con todas las filosofías. All the religions. Con todas las religiones. Beliefs. Con todos, que, todas las, las creencias. Dogmas. Las dogmas. Value systems. Los sistemas de valor. And so on. Y, y, y así, por cierto. How does one decipher what is right? ¿Cómo uno puede descifrar lo que es correcto? Jesus made sure we would be able to. Jesús estuvo seguro de que nosotros pudri pudiéramos hacerlo. To know who he is. Para saber quién él es. Who is the one and true living God? ¿Quién es el verdadero y, vi y, y Dios viviente? No other so-called God. Ningún otro, otro uh, llamado Dios. Was prophesied of beforehand Fue profetizado de antemano. who he was ¿Quién él era? and how he would come ¿Y cómo vendría? and what he would look like ¿Y cómo, eh, qué se, cómo se parecería? even to the smallest detail Aún hasta el más pequeño detalle. and no one before y nadie anteriormente. and no one since y nadie desde entonces. has risen from the dead ha resucitado de entre now los when you muertos. fulfill that prophecy y él llenó esa profecía. when you fulfill that prophecy Cuando tú, tú, uh, llenes esa profecía, then you know that's the true and living God. Entonces, tú sabes que ese es el verdadero Dios. It was prophesied ahead of time. Fue profetizado de antemano. That he would raise from the dead. Que él sería levantado de los muertos. He declared it in his own life. Él de lo declaró sobre su propia vida. He lived before he came to this earth. Él vivió antes de llegar a esta tierra. He was in the beginning. Él era en el principio. He's always been. Él siempre ha sido. And always will be. Y siempre será. He left his glory. Él dejó su gloria. Came down in the form of a man. Y vino en forma de hombre. He died on the cross. Murió en la cruz. He was buried. Fue sepultado. And on the third day. Y al tercer día. And he rose from the dead. Resucitó. And because he muertos. lives. Y porque él vive. We live. Nosotros vivimos. He conquered death. Porque él, conqu él conquistó la muerte. Hell. El infierno. And the grave. Y, la, y, y el sepulcro. Therefore, we should not fear. Así que nosotros tampoco debemos temer. This is the victory we have. Esta es la victoria que tenemos. Our faith. Nuestra fe. Our faith in Jesus Christ. Nuestra fe en Cristo Jesús. The one who fulfilled all the prophecies. El que cumplió todas las profecías. The one who crossed every T and dotted every I. El que cruzó cada T y puso punto en cada I. The one who conquered death. El que conquistó la muerte. And said, because I live. Y él dijo, porque yo vivo. You too shall live. Vosotros también viviréis. Come on, can we lift our hand for a moment and Levante give a praise for that? Levante sus manos al cielo y vamos Come a darle gracias a Dios. We worship a risen Savior. Vamos a adoramos a un a Come un uh, Salvador resucitado. We worship a living God. Le da, uh, adoramos a un Dios vivo. Who gives us life? Quien nos da vida. And life in abundance. Y vida en abundancia. My friend, I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying right now. Uh, amigo, escucho al Espíritu de Dios, de Dios diciendo. You shall see the goodness of the Lord. Vas a ver el bien del Señor. In the land of the living. En la, en la tierra de los vivientes. Look at your family and tell them. Mira tu familia y dile. We shall see the goodness of the Lord. Vamos a ver el, el bien del Señor. In the land of the living. En, en la tierra de los vivientes. God is good. Dios es bueno. All the time. Todo el tiempo. And all the time. Y todo el tiempo. God is good. Dios es bueno. This is why we know he's the one that God sent. Es por eso que sabemos que él fue el que Dios envió. He's the one we put our hope in. Él es en quien ponemos nuestra esperanza. He's the one we put our trust in. Él es quien ponemos nuestra confianza. Because he lives, we too shall live. Porque él vive, nosotros también viviremos. Do you want to know what the difference is? ¿Quieres saber cuál es la diferencia? Between Jesus and every other God. Entre Jesús y todo otro Dios. Small g God. Uh, pequeña d. So-called God. Uh, llamados dioses. Every, every other God en, eh, todo otro Dios makes you search for them. Nos hace que le busquemos. Prove yourself to them. Que nos uh, probemos a ellos. Perform works. Que, uh, que hagamos uh, uh, trabajos. Follow rules and regulations. Y seguir reglas y regulaciones. To maybe please them. Para 
quizás a uh, complacerlos. But Jesus is completely different. Pero Jesús es completamente diferente. He's the only God that searches for us. Él es el único Dios a quien nos busca. And he searches. Y él busca. And he searches. Y busca. And he searches. Y busca. Until he finds us. Hasta que nos encuentra. He relentlessly pursues us. Él nos busca desesperadamente. He relentlessly pursues us. Él nos busca desesperadamente. Until we come face to face with hasta him. Hasta que llegamos cara a cara con and él. And we have an encounter with him y and his love. Un encuentro con él y con su amor. I said he relentlessly pursues us. Él, él, él nos busca desesperadamente. Until we have an encounter. Hasta que tengamos un encuentro. With him and his love. Con él y su amor. Come on, is there anybody here today? Hay alguien aquí en esta That en esta he pursued mañana. you. Él te, él te persigue. Come on, he pursued you. Él te persigue. Until he caught up with you. Hasta que te alcanza. Stood in front of you. Y se para delante de ti. And said, I love you. Y te dice, te amo. I died for you. Yo morí por ti. I died for you. Yo morí por ti. My love. Mi amor. Is unconditional. Es incondicional. And unfailing towards you. Y no falla hacia ti. Come on, is there anybody? Hay alguien aquí. Look at your neighbor and tell him, that's me. Mira a tu vecino y dile, ese soy yo. That's me. Ese soy yo. That's me. Ese soy yo. Now back to the story. Uh, volvemos a la historia. Jesus at the top of the Mount of Olives. Jesús está en, en, en el monte uh, de los olivos. Now from the Mount of Olives, there's a spectacular view. Uh, desde el monte de los olivos hay una vista espectacular. I haven't been there. Uh, no he estado ahí. I hope to one day. Espero llegar un día. But for now. Pero por ahora. I rely on pictures. Uh, me confío en los en retratos. And so the pictures I've seen. Uh, los retratos que he visto. Show a beautiful view. No enseñan una una vista bella. From the Mount of Olives, desde el Monte de los Olivos, on the east side of Jerusalem, del este de Jerusalén, there's this beautiful view of the city. Hay una vista bella de la de la ciudad. You can see all of Jerusalem and beyond. Se puede ver a Jerusalén y y y más allá. And you can see the magnificent temple. Y se ve el templo magnífico. When Jesus looked across the Mount of Olives, cuando Jesús miró a través del Monte de los Olivos, he had to look past the Kidron Valley. Ah, tuvo que que mirar hacia el valle de Hidron. Hidron. And he could see the temple. Y vio el templo. It was breathtaking. Y, y fue in the inspiración. It's from that place. De ese lugar. That Jesus goes down. Comenzó a descender Jesús. He rides the donkey down. Y comienza a, a bajar en ese pollino. Down the side of the Mount of Olives. Uh, por el, por el lado de la, del monte de los olivos. Towards the city of Jerusalem. Hacia la ciudad de Jerusalén. Towards the temple. Hacia el templo. And there's her, there are his disciples. Y allí estaban sus discípulos. And many people. Y mucha gente. And pilgrims. Y muchos peregrinos. Who were also there for the que feast. Que estaban allí también para la fiesta. And they see Jesus. Y miran a Jesús. And they have heard of him. Y habían oído de and él. And many had seen him before. Y muchos lo habían visto anteriormente. And when they see him. Y cuando lo vieron. They start celebrating. Comenzaron a celebrar. And they start cheering. Y comenzaron a alabar, a gritar. And, and they start to quote scripture. Y comenzaron a, a hablar, a, a comentar las escrituras. And they will quote a messianic scripture. Y comenzaron a, a, a decir las, las, a, a palabra mesiánica. Psalm 118, verse 26. Salmo 118, 118, versículo 26. Verse 26. And it, they say, Hosanna to the son of David. Uh, uh, Hosanna al hijo de, de David. Blessed is he. Bendito es el que viene. In the name of the Lord. En el nombre del Señor. And they would say, Hosanna in the highest. Y decían, Hosanna en, los, en las alturas. Son of David. Hijo de David. Hosanna. Hosanna. Which means save now. Que significa salva ahora. Hosanna means save now. Hosanna significa salva ahora. So they were telling Jesus. Le estaban diciendo a Jesús. Bring your kingdom now. Trae tu reino ahora. Kick Rome out. Uh, tu, tu reino ahora. And save now. Y sálvanos ahora. It's very festive. Es, es muy festivo. It's very powerful. Es muy poderoso. The disciples lay their clothes on the donkey. Los discípulos uh, uh, toman el, el, el pollino. So that Jesus can sit on their clothes. Para que Jesús, uh, ponen sus ropas para que Jesús se siente sobre él. And then the multitudes. Y las multitudes. Were laying down their clothes. Uh, tiraban sus mantos. And they were putting down palm leaves on the ground. Y ponían uh, palmas en la, en, el, en la tierra. In front of Jesus. Delante de Jesús. As he rode down. 
según él, él, él caminaba, él the, iba. Down the mountainside. Él iba a través de la montaña. And in the, crowd, the crowds were also waving palms. Y la multitud también estaban, estaban levantando las palmas. As they were rejoicing. Según se regocijaban. And praising God for his mighty Y alabando works. a Dios por sus obras maravillosas. They were welcoming in Jesus. Ellos estaban dándole la bienvenida a Jesús. With their praise. Con sus alabanzas. I said they were welcoming in Jesus. Estaban dándole a, 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 la bienvenida a Jesús. With their praise. Con sus alabanzas. And let me tell you something. Uh, déjeme decirle algo. If you really want Jesus to come into your life. Si verdaderamente quieres que Jesús venga a tu vida. To come into your situation. Que venga a tu situación. To come into your circumstances. Que venga a tus circunstancias. The best way to do it. La mejor manera en hacerlo. Is to welcome him with your praise. Es a, a darle la bienvenida con tus alabanzas. I said to welcome him with your praise. Dale la bienvenida con come on. tus alabanzas. Do you need Jesus to come right now? Necesitas a Jesús que llegue ahora. Then welcome him in with your praise. Entonces dale la bienvenida con tus alabanzas. That means give him praise right now. Dale alabanza. Ahora. Welcome him into your home right now. Uh, eh, dale la bienvenida a tu hogar ahora. Welcome into your situation right now. Dale la bienvenida a tu circunstancia. By giving him praise. Dándole alabanza. Psalm 22 verse 3 says. Salmo 22 verso 3 dice. Said he inhabits the praises of his people. Que él, él habita las alabanzas de su pueblo. If you need Jesus. Si necesitas a Jesús. To save right now. Eh, eh, dile ahora. Welcome him with your praise. Uh, dale la bienvenida con tu alabanza. Look at somebody tell them welcome them in with your praise. Mira a alguien y dile dale la bienvenida con tu alabanza. So now the disciples are praising Jesus. Ahora los discípulos estaban alabando a Jesús. The multitudes are praising Jesus. Las multitudes estaban alabando a Jesús. And they're saying Hosanna. Y estaban diciendo Hosanna. Save us now. Sálvanos ahora. See when somebody recognizes Jesus. Cuando alguien reconoce a Jesús. For who he really is. Por quien él verdaderamente es. Then, then they can offer him the highest praise. Entonces pueden ofrecerle una alabanza. Alta. Once you know who Jesus is, una vez sepas quién Jesús es, you offer him your highest praise. Le das tu alabanza más más sublime, más grande. And the reason we praise him, y la razón por la que le alabamos, because we want him to come, es porque queremos que él venga. We want him to feel welcome, queremos que él se sienta bienvenido. Because we know when Jesus shows up, porque sabemos que cuando él llega, that anything is possible. Todo es posible. I said anything is possible. Todo es posible. Nothing's impossible for God. Nada es imposible para when Dios. When Jesus shows up, cuando Jesús llega. Anything is possible. Todo es posible. He can do anything. Él puede hacerlo todo. He can transform. Él puede puede transformarte. He can save. Puede salvarte. He can heal. Puede sanar. He can deliver. Puede puede libertar. He can protect. Él te puede proteger. He can provide. Puede proveer. When Jesus shows up. Cuando Jesús llega. Anything is possible. Todo es posible. He can save us right now. Él puede salvarnos ahora. Whatever you're going through. Todo lo que estás pasando. He can heal you right now. Él puede sanarte ahora. He can deliver you right now. Él puede de librarte ahora. He can set you free right now. Él puede librarte ahora. He can restore your family right now. Él puede restaurar tu familia. He can bless your finances right now. Él puede bendecir tus finanzas ahora. He can break your addiction right now. Él puede romper tu adicción ahora mismo. Now when Jesus shows up, cuando Jesús llega, He can do anything. Él puede hacer todo. Anything is possible. Cualquier cosa es posible. And nothing is impossible. Nada es imposible. Right where you're at. Ahí donde estás. If you're in an addiction right now, si tú estás en adicción ahora mismo, I want to pray for you. Yo quiero orar por ti. I want to stop and pray for you. Quiero parar ahora y orar por ti. You're stuck at home. Estás en la casa. You're stuck. Estás estancado. Not just at home. No solo en la casa. But in a wilderness. Pero estás en un desierto. A wilderness of addiction. Un desierto de adicción. You're wandering in circles. Estás dando vueltas. And I believe Jesus wants to see you right, see y you free right now. Y Jesús quiere libertarte ahora. I said Jesus wants to set you free right now. Jesús quiere libertarte ahora From that addiction right now. de esa adicción ahora it doesn't matter what it is. no importa lo que sea you might say, I've tried. quizás dices he tratado But Jesus can do anything. pero Jesús puede hacerlo todo right now in this quarantine. ahora mismo en esta cuarentena right there where you're at. ahí donde tú estás the power of Jesus can el come poder on your life de Jesús puede venir sobre tu and vida set you free. Y, y hacerte libre Church praying with me right now. iglesia orando as, conmigo as ahora we declare and decree según declaramos y decretamos que In Jesus name. Que la adicción es quebrantada en el nombre de Jesús. My brother, my sister. Mi hermano y mi hermana. Right where you're at. Ahí donde estás. I declare. Yo declaro. That addiction broken off your life. Que la adicción está siendo In rota de tu, de tu vida en el nombre de Jesús. The yoke of addiction. El yugo de la adicción. Is broken off your life. Está siendo roto de tu vida. By the anointing of God's spirit. Por la unción 
del Espíritu. Right now. Ahora. Addiction to heroin has to go. La adicción right now. a heroína tiene que irse a ahora. Addiction to methamphetamines has to go right La now. La adicción a toda droga addiction tiene que to irse. Has to go. Al alcohol right tiene que irse ahora. Addiction to pornography has to go la right now. La adicción a la pornografía tiene que irse ahora. Addiction to food has to go right now. La adicción a la a la comida tiene que irse ahora. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. We praise them. Lo adoramos. Because when he comes, porque cuando él viene, anything is possible. Todo es posible. Come on, if that was you. Si ese fue eras tú. Right now, I want you to seal. Yo quiero que 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 selles. What Jesus has just done. Lo que Jesús ha hecho. By lifting your hands. Levan, levantando tus manos. And giving him praise. Y dándole dándole alabanza. And giving him thanks. Y dándole gracias. For setting you free. Por libertarte. Let me tell you, you're really free. Déjame decirte que eres libre. Because you're the son says free. Porque al que el hijo libera. Is free indeed. Será verdaderamente libre. You shall know the truth. Y conocerás la verdad. Jesus is the truth. Jesús es la verdad. And the truth will set you free. Y la verdad te hará libre. Where the spirit of the Lord is. Donde el espíritu de Dios está. There is freedom. Allí hay libertad. The spirit of the Lord is ministering to you right now. El espíritu de Dios te está ministrando ahora. And he ahora. has set you free. Y y él te ha libertado. He's not gonna set you free. Él no no te va a libertar. He has set you free. Él te ha libertado. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Because nothing's impossible. Porque nada es imposible. When Jesus shows up. Cuando Jesús llega. Come on, somebody give the Lord a hand of praise. Dele una una palmada de alabanza. Al Señor. So they welcome him in with praise. Lo, lo, le dieron la bienvenida con alabanza. That's supposed to be our posture right now. Esa debe ser nuestra postura ahora. We need to keep welcoming Jesus. Debemos seguir uh, dándole la bienvenida a Jesús. Into this situation. En esta situación. Into our lives. En nuestra vida. And he will do the impossible. Y él hará lo imposible. Don't ever quit praising. Nunca dejes de alabarle. Don't let anything or anyone stop your praise. No dejes que nada ni nadie pare tu alabanza. Because when you praise, porque cuando tú alabas, Jesus comes in. Jesús llega. So here, here's Jesus. Y aquí está Jesús. Coming down the side of the Mount of Olives. Ah, bajando por el lado del monte de la de los olivos. And so he has to pass through a valley. Y tiene que pasar por un valle. Called the Kidron Valley. Ah, llamado el el monte el valle de Girón. And into the east gate. Y por el por la entrada del este, las of puertas del este es de Jerusalén. Of Jerusalem into the temple area. Hacia la hacia el templo. The temple was on the east side. El templo estaba en el lado este de de Jerusalén. And the Old Testament tells us el Antiguo Testamento nos dice that during three separate times que durante tres diferentes ocasiones of reformation and revival de reformación y avivamiento there were at least three cleansings había hubieron tres limpiezas of the temple del templo of the rooftops of Jerusalem y de 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 eh, la, las los la, las al, al, los techos techos uh, in, in Jerusalem de Jerusalén to remove the altars uh, para remover los los uh, los altares of idols uh, de los ídolos that had been built up que habían sido uh, levantados during times of spiritual backsliding durante eh, tiempos de 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 deslizamiento espiritual the three kings were king asa los tres reyes fueron el rey asa rey hezekiah el rey ezequías and king uh, josiah y el el rey Ojosías. They brought reformation and revival. Ellos trajeron reformación y avivamiento. And when they did, y cuando lo hicieron, they did a spiritual cleansing. Hicieron una limpieza espiritual. And they would burn. Y ellos quemaban. Or reduce the idols. Y y reducieron las las uh, los ídolos. To dust. A polvo. Could that be what God's doing right now? Podría ser lo que Dios está haciendo ahora. Trying to remove idols from our lives. Tratando de remover esos ídolos de nuestra vida. Have you or I made any any idols out of anything? Uh, uh, tú y yo hemos hecho algún ídolo de algo? If we didn't know it then, si no lo sabíamos entonces, we probably know it now. Lo sabemos ahora. How do we know if something's an idol? ¿Cómo sabemos que algo es un ídolo? Because we worship it. Porque lo lo alabamos. And we we are more more devoted to it. Y estamos más a uh, a uh, devocionado a uh, a él. And we give finances to it. Y damos uh, finanzas a a eso. More than God. Más que a Dios. If you worship anything, si tú adoras algo, you might say that's a strong word. Y uh, quizás dirás eso es una palabra muy fuerte. But if you took a real examination, pero si tú te examinas, you might be worshiping it. Puedes puedes darte cuenta que estás alabando. But if you're devoted to it, pero si estás uh, devoto a ello, if you praise it, 
y lo alabas and you give money to it y le das dinero more than you do God más de lo que le das a Dios then it's an idol entonces es un ídolo it's an idol es un ídolo look at somebody say it's an idol mire a alguien y dígale es un ídolo tell them I don't know what to tell you it's an idol no sé qué decir pero es un ídolo Maybe God wants to remove that idol from our homes and our lives. Dios quiere remover ese ídolo de nuestras vidas o nuestros hogares. Now we have time to really think about it. Ahora tenemos tiempo para pensar acerca de ello. So they would reduce idols to dust. Ellos reducían a los ídolos hasta llegar al polvo. During these times of reformation and revival. Durante estos tiempos de reformación y avivamiento. And the afternoon before Passover. Y la 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 tarde antes de la de la Pascua. Which was Thursday of Passion Week. Que era el jueves de la la semana de Pasión. Which would be the Thursday that's coming. Que sería este jueves que viene. During that Thursday. Durante ese jueves. That would be the time. Ese era el tiempo of the sacrificing of lambs, del sacrificio de los corderos, the Passover lambs, eh, de los de los corderos pascuales, on the altar of the temple, en el altar del templo. Let's say that again. Vamos a decir eso otra vez. On Thursday, el jueves, they would sacrifice the Passover lambs, sacrificaban los corderos pascuales, on the altar, sobre el altar, at the temple, en el templo. Now the historical records of Jesus' time, ahora los los uh, records históricos el tiempo de Jesús, indicate that, indican that a, a quarter million of lambs, que un cuarto de millón de de corderos 250,000 lambs. 250,000 corderos were slain during a typical Passover season. Eran puesto a muerte durante esa la la el tiempo de la Pascua. And it would require hundreds of priests to do it. Y se requería cientos de sacerdotes para hacer esto. So you imagine this. Así que puede imaginarse esto. There was a lot of blood. Había mucha sangre. From 250,000 lambs. De 250,000 Uh, corderos. Along with the water for the ritual cleansings. A, a la, a, a, junto al, al rito de lavado de agua. Where does all that blood and water go? ¿Dónde va toda esa agua y toda esa sangre? I told you the temple was on the east side of the city. Yo te dije que el templo estaba al lado este de la ciudad. The Kidron Valley was, was between Jerusalem and the Mount of Olives. El Valle de Girón estaba entre Jerusalén y el Monte de los Olivos. So the, the blood and the water Así que la sangre y el agua would drain Uh, se descargaban from the altar desde el altar and it was carried to y era llevado to the Kidron Valley al monte de Girón just outside the temple uh, afuera del templo the temple mount walls uh, de uh, las paredes o los muros del templo so the blood would flow down the wall of Jerusalem la, la sangre corre, corría sobre los muros de Jerusalén down the hill that Jerusalem's on uh, donde, en el monte donde está Jerusalén down into the Kidron Valley hacia el monte de Girón So here's this valley of Kidron. Hacia el, el Valle de Giron. So let's say this is the east. Este es el este. And this is where the Mount of Olives is. Y ahí está el Monte de los Olivos. So Jesus would go down. Jesús bajaba. And over here is Jerusalem in the temple. Y al otro lado está Jerusalén. And all the blood and water would flow down this side of the hill. Y toda la sangre y el agua corrían del otro lado. And it would go into Kidron Valley. Y llegaban al, al Valle de, de Giron. I, I have a point to this. Tengo un punto. Stay with me. Quédate conmigo. This is very significant. Es muy, tiene mucho significado. So first of all, the As, word Kidron. Primeramente, la palabra Giron. Means black brook. Uh, significa uh, uh, río negro or gloomy brook o uh, uh, rio rio oscuro and gloom or gloomy brook or sad brook sad brook uh, triste perhaps we think uh, pensamos que quizás because of the crimson crimson stained walls por la la las el muro manchado con sangre so follow with me in this image ya, sígame en esta imagen when jesus is going through the kidron valley cuando jesus iba bajando al 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 valle de girón coming down the mount of olives bajando por el monte de los olivos all he can see todo lo que podía ver is these dark red era era esas uh, marcas rojas even black in some places y, y muy oscuras en algún en algunos lugares blood stained walls uh, en, en muros uh, manchados on the Jerusalem hillside en la en 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 el uh, lado del de Jerusalén of the Kidron Valley del del al lado de del Jerusalén del valle de Girón And so he's he's going down and he sees the wall y él va bajando y mira hacia el muro now don't you think he would be moved no piensas que él se había, habría sido movido by the of that valley, por el simbolismo de ese valle that held 
que sostuvo basically a representation básicamente una representación of the sin of mankind del pecado del, de la humanidad we had all the false idols teníamos todos los ídolos falsos and the sacrificial lamb blood y todas toda la sangre de los corderos and it would serve as a reminder to Jesus y iban a ser un recordatorio a Jesús of the cup he was about to drink de la copa que él iba a beber and the purpose for which he came y el propósito por el cual él vino which is to die as a perfect sacrifice el cual fue en morir en un perfecto sacrificio the perfect sacrificial lamb el, sac el, el cordero sac perfecto For our sins. Por nuestros pecados. That we might be restored to God. Que seríamos restaurados por Dios. Can you imagine as he looks down. Podrían imaginarse según él miró hacia abajo. And sees the blood of millions of lambs. Y ve la sangre de, de, de millones de, de corderos. That man might be forgiven. Que el, para que el hombre fuese perdonado. And every one of those lambs. Y cada uno de esos corderos. Pointed to Jesus. Apuntaba hacia él. He is our Passover lamb. Él es nuestro, nuestro cordero pascual. And he must have been moved so deeply. Y tiene que haber sido movido tan profundamente. And reminded of y recordado his mission de su misión why he came. y el por qué él vino. He said, I'll be the last lamb. Él dijo, yo voy a ser la, el último cordero, the lamb who was slain el cordero que fue inmolado for everyone, por todos, once and for all. de una vez y por siempre. There's forgiveness. Hay perdón, There's healing. hay sanidad in the sacrificial lamb. En, ese, en ese cordero sacrificial, our, our Passover lamb. nuestro cordero pascual. Jesus. Jesus. And so he's, he has this great reminder. Y, y él tiene este recordatorio. Of why he had come. Por qué él había venido. And what this week means. Y lo que esta semana significa. See, in a sense, the Passion Week. Uh, el, el sentido de la semana de, uh, de, de la Pascua. It's a microcosm. Es un microcosmo. Of what Jesus did for the whole world. De lo world. que Cristo hizo por todo el mundo. He's at the top of the Mount of Olives. Él está en la cumbre del Monte de los Olivos. With a great view. Con una vista muy grande. Jesus was in heaven. Él estaba en, en, en el cielo. With the greatest view. Con la, la vista que era mejor. He, des he descends down the side of the Mount of Olives. Él desciende a, a través del Monte de los Olivos. Jesus leaves his glory in heaven. Deja su gloria en el cielo. He humbles himself on this donkey. Él se, se humilla. Not on a war horse, no en un, en un caballo, but on a donkey, sino en un asno. He was not clothed in military gear. Él no se vistió militarmente. He didn't have on royal splendor. No tenía uh, uh, ropas reales. He was meek. Él, él era manso. Not pompous. Y no, no altivo. He actually epitomizes él, él es representante in his triumphal entry en su entrada triunfal the upside down values of the kingdom. De los, los valores que están al revés del, del reino. The model of greatness is reversed. El modelo de grandeza es, 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 uh, en, está en reversa. In that day. En ese día. I said the model of greatness is reversed. El, el modelo de grandeza está, está de, de un lado ese día. And he, and he reverses y él, eh, eh, hace que se re reverse the world's paradigm of powerful el, el, eh, lo que es el poder del mundo to humility to serve. Para, para enseñar la humildad para the, servir. In this one day, en este día, Jesus turns leadership Jesús convirtió el liderazgo and greatness en, en grandeza upside down. Y, eh, de un lado a otro. Now greatness Ahora la grandeza is humility es humildad and service. y servicio. Jesus led Jesús uh, guió in humility. En, uh, en humildad and he exemplified it. y en, e ejemplificó When he rode in on the donkey. cuando entró en ese asno. So he's going through the Kidron Valley. Así que está pasando por el, el, el Valle de Girón And there, he's going through a graveyard of idols. Y está por una, una, un cementerio de ídolos. And through uh, the blood of sacrificial lambs. Y a través de la sangre de los corderos sacrificiales. And it's here that he rises above every other god. Y es aquí donde él se levanta sobre, cada, sobre otros dioses. Through his death and resurrection. A través de su muerte y resurrección. And becomes our Passover lamb. Y se convierte en nuestro cordero pascual. And I want to ask the worship team to join us. Y voy a pedirle al, al grupo de alabanza que pase. I end with this. Termino con esto. Please listen. Escucha. Maybe close your eyes. Cierra tus ojos. And just listen. Y escucha. And let the Lord speak to you. Y deja que el Señor te hable. Let him speak to you. Deja que él te hable. Listen, Jesus humbles himself. Jesús se humilló a sí mismo. And kept humbling himself. Y continuó humillándose a sí mismo. He humbled himself on that donkey. Se humilló en ese, en ese asno. 
And he kept humbling himself after. Y siguió humillándose después. He kept humbling himself, humbling uh, himself. Siguió humillándose a sí mismo. Until he was beat beyond recognition. Hasta que que fue golpeado sin que fuera reconocido. And if that wasn't enough. Y si eso no fue suficiente. He was crucified. Fue crucificado. Mercilessly on a cross. Sin misericordia. Though he was innocent. Aunque era inocente. He still was crucified. Fue crucificado. It doesn't get any, any more humbling than this. Y no se no se pone no se ve más humildad que esto. Than for your own creation to reject you. Que tu propia uh, uh, creación te, que, que te humille o But, te rechace. And then kill you. Y luego te, te, te ponga a muerte. But he willingly laid his life down. Pero él dio su vida. He willingly laid his life down. Él, él dio su vida. And what would compel him to do such a thing? Y qué haría que él diera su vida gratuitamente? Listen, what would compel him to do such a thing? Escucha, qué le haría él hacer tal cosa? Quite simply, one thing. Simplemente una cosa. Love. Amor. He loves you. Él, él te ama. He loves you. Él te ama. And would do anything. Y él haría cualquier cosa. To get to you. Para llegar a ti. And let you know. Y dejarte saber. How much he loves you. Cuánto él te ama. Come on, he's telling you right now. Y él te está diciendo ahora. He's reminding you right now. Te está now. recordando ahora. He loves you. Que te ama. He loves you. Él te ama. Unconditionally. Sin condición. His love is like no other. El amor de él es como ningún otro. No strings attached. No hay nada atado a él. He died on the cross. Él murió en la cruz. When we were still sinners. Mientras todavía éramos pecadores. He relentlessly pursued you. Él él te persiguió uh, 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 radicalmente. Even when you didn't believe in him. Aún cuando no creías en él. When we were still sinners. Mientras aún éramos pecadores. He loved us. Él nos amó. I need to say it again. He loves you. Quiero decir otra vez, él te ama. And he would do anything to get to you. Y él puede, él, él hace cualquier cosa para llegar a ti. So he could come face to face with you. Para llegar cara a cara and, contigo. And let you know. Y dejarte saber. I love you. Que te ama. He's mad about you. Él está loco por ti. He's not mad at you. Él no está enojado contigo. He's mad about you. Él está enlo, enloquecido por ti. He died for your sins. El murió por tus pecados. Our sins is what separated us from God. Nuestros pecados fue lo que nos separó de Dios. And Jesus said, "I'll live a sinless life." Pero Jesús vivió una vida sin pecado. He said, "I'll die on a cross." Él dijo, "Yo moriré en una cruz." I'll be the sacrifice. Yo seré el sacrificio for the sins of the world. Por los pecados del mundo. He said, "I'll take their place." Voy a tomar su lugar. I'll die once for all. Y voy a morir una vez por todos. So that they can be reconciled. Para que ellos puedan ser reconciliados. Back to God the Father. A hacia Dios el Padre. Why did Jesus do all this? ¿Por qué hizo Jesús todo esto? Why did he go down the side of the Mount of Olives? ¿Por qué bajó por, por el lado del, del Monte de los Olivos? Why did he go into Jerusalem? ¿Para, ¿Por qué llegó a Jerusalén? And be our Passover lamb. ¿Y fue nuestro Cordero Pascual? Why would he die on the cross? ¿Por qué murió en la cruz? Why would he allow himself to be buried? ¿Por qué permitió ser uh, sepultado? Why did he raise on the third day? ¿Por qué se levantó al, al tercer día? Why did, why did he go back to heaven? ¿Por qué regresó al cielo? Why did he ascend? ¿Para qué ascendió? And sat back at the right hand of the Father. Y se sentó a la diestra de Dios Padre. Why did he do all that? ¿Por qué hizo todo eso? For one word. Por una palabra. Love. Amor. Love. Amor. It, was, it wasn't just nails that held Jesus on that cross. No fue solo los los clavos que sostuvieron a Jesús en la it, cruz. It was something bigger than that. Fue algo mayor que eso. It was love. Fue amor. Love. Fue amor. Jesus loves you. Jesús te ama. Come on, somebody say that Jesus loves Alguien me. Alguien diga Jesús me ama. Somebody say Jesus loves me. Alguien diga Jesús me ama. Come on, we teach our children that song. Le decimos esa, le enseñamos esa canción a nuestros hijos. Yes, Jesus loves me. Sí, Jesús me ama. The Bible tells me so. La Biblia me lo dice. Why is it so hard for us sometimes? Porque entonces es difícil para nosotros to believe that truth. Creer esa verdad. To grasp that reality. Y, y agarrar esa realidad. That Jesus loves que us. Que Jesús nos ama. Jesus hasn't forgotten about you. Jesús no se ha olvidado de ti. He hasn't forgotten about us. Él no se ha olvidado de nosotros. No, he has a purpose. Él tiene un propósito. He's doing something right now. Él está haciendo algo ahora. In you. En ti, in me, in me, in all of humanity, y en toda la humanidad. What Jesus, what Jesus is doing right now, lo que Jesús está haciendo ahora, has a redemptive purpose. Tiene un propósito redentivo. And you're a part of that purpose. Y tú eres parte de ese propósito. I want to encourage you. Te quiero animar. Fear not. 
que no temas For God is with you. porque Dios está contigo Be patient. sé paciente Wait upon the Lord. espera en el Señor He'll renew your strength. Él renovará tus fuerzas Keep reading your word. sigue leyendo la palabra Keep praying. sigue orando Start growing. sigue creciendo Seek to grow in the Lord. busca crecer en el Señor And in the power of his might. y en el poder de su, en, de su fuerza Let him do something in you. deja que Él haga algo en ti Go deeper. Ve más profundo. Let him go deeper in you. Deja que también él entre profundo en ti. Let's move on. Eh, vamos a movernos hacia adelante. From the elementary things of God. De las cosas elementales de Dios. Onto the deeper things of God. Hasta las cosas profundas de Dios. Let's allow the Holy Spirit to take us there. Vamos a permitir que el Espíritu Santo nos lleve ahí. Let's let him take us deeper. Vamos a permitir que nos lleve más profundamente. Come on, there are things God has been trying to do in us. Hay cosas que Dios ha tratado de hacer con nosotros. Trying to do in you y ha tratado de hacer en ti and in me. y en mí and now's the time y ahora es el tiempo that we need to stop que necesitamos parar being distracted de, de estar uh, distraídos and not doing y, y no, no, no hacer what it takes lo que se necesita to go further para, para ir hacia adelante and go deeper y, y ir más profundo in our relationship with God. en nuestra relación con Dios Would you write where you're at? Ahí donde estás. Would you close your eyes? Cierra tus ojos. And start praying. Y comienza a orar. Just start praying to God. Comienza a orar a Dios. Just begin to welcome him in right now with your praise. Y, y dale la bienvenida con tu alabanza. Come on, and the Holy Spirit. Ah, el Espíritu Santo. Will begin to pray through you. Va a comenzar a orar a través de and ti. And you begin to bring things up. Y va a comenzar a, 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 a romper aquello. And bring things out. Y, y va a sacar aquellas cosas. And fuera. even as I pray for you. A ah, según yo, even as I pray for you. No porque yo oro por ti. Even as I pray for you. Según oro por ti. The Holy Spirit. El Espíritu Santo. Will have you praying for yourself. Va a orar por ti mismo. But we're going to declare. Pero vamos a declarar. We're going to decree. Vamos a, a decretar. We're going to declare God's promises. Vamos a declarar las promesas de Dios. We're going to decree God's purpose. Vamos a decretar los propósitos de Dios. The arm of the Lord has not been shortened. El brazo de Jehová no se ha cortado. The arm of the Lord has not been shortened. El brazo de Jehová no se ha cortado. He can reach right into where you're at. Él puede alcanzarte ahí donde estás. He can reach you in your living room. Él puede alcanzarte en tu sala. He can reach you in your dining room. Él puede encontrarte en alcanzarte en tu en en el lugar donde cenas. In your family room. En tu lugar de familiar. In your bedroom. En tu cuarto. Wherever you're at. Donde quiera que estés. His arm can reach. En tu su brazo te alcanza. His arm can reach. Su su brazo alcanza And when he reaches, y cuando él alcanza it signifies his power. significa poder it signifies his power. significa poder Watch what God will do. vela lo que Dios puede hacer As you trust in him. según tú confías en él We can no, longer trust in our bank accounts. no podemos confiar ya en nuestra cuenta de banco We can't find security in our jobs alone. no podemos encontrar seguridad en nuestros trabajos We can't find security in man. no encontramos seguridad en el hombre We must put our trust in God. tenemos que poner nuestra confianza en Some Dios. Trust in chariots. Algunos confían en, en, en caballos. Others trust in horses. En otros en, 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 en caballos. But we Pero nosotros will trust in the name of the Lord our God. Confiamos en el nombre de Jehová. I'm going to say that again. Lo voy a decir nuevamente. Some trust in chariots. Algunos confían en carrozas. Others in horses. Otros en, en caballos. But we Pero nosotros will trust in the name of the Lord, our confiamos God. en el nombre de, de nuestro on, Dios. That right now. Vamos a orar ahora. Declare that right now. Vamos a declarar esto ahora. I trust in the name of the Lord, my voy God. a confiar en el nombre de, de Jehová nuestro Dios. Come on, there's something powerful about saying it. Hay algo tan poderoso en decirlo. Say, I will trust. Voy a confiar in the name of the Lord. En el nombre del Señor. My God. Mi Dios. My God. Mi Dios. In whom I trust. En quien confío. Tell the Lord I trust you. Dile al Señor confío en ti. Come on, if I can trust Him with my salvation. Si yo puedo confiarlo en mi salvación. How can I not trust Him with everything? ¿Cómo no puedo confiarle todo el resto? Si pongo mi eternidad en sus manos, entonces puedo creer que Él es confiado con todo. Él viste a, la, a los lirios del valle. Él alimenta a los, a los, a los, a los pájaros. ¿Cuánto más va a cuidar de nosotros? El, el, la cumbre de su creación. Su, su imagen 
The one he created in his image. Aquellos que él hizo a su imagen. The ones to whom he gave dominion. Aquellos que le dio dominio. The ones to whom he died for. Aquellos por quien él murió. Come on, God is reminding you right now. Dios te está recordando ahora. That he can be trusted. Que él puede, que puedes confiar en él. That your life. Que tu vida. That your family. Que tu familia. That your finances. Que tus finanzas. That all your provisions. Que todas tus provisiones. Are in his hands. Están en sus manos. You are in his hands. Tú estás en sus manos. We are the apple of his eye. Nosotros somos la niña de sus ojos. That means he holds us close. Eso quiere decir que él nos sostiene cerca. And he sees everything. Y él ve todo. He even counts the hairs on your head. Él, él aún sabe y cuenta los cabellos de tu cabeza. He knows exactly what you're going through. Él sabe exactamente lo que tú estás pasando. And he's with you. Y él está contigo. And he's for you. Y él es por ti. You're going to see him do miracles. Vas a verlo hacer milagros. You're going to see him do miracles in your life. Vas a hacer, vas a verlo hacer milagros en tu vida. If you trust in him. Si confías en él. And call out to him. Y llamas a él. I'm talking to somebody right now. Estoy hablando con alguien ahora. You're, you're far from Jesus. Estás lejos de Jesús. You've never accepted Jesus. Nunca has aceptado a Jesús. As your Savior. Como tu Salvador. And your Lord. Y tu Señor. But now's the moment. Pero ahora es el momento. You feel God's presence. Tú sientes la presencia you de Dios. You know you haven't been living your life for tú God. Tú sabes que no estás viviendo tu vida para Dios. You know that you're far from Him. Tú sabes que estás lejos de Él. Even though you have a belief in Him. Aún que, aunque tú crees en Él. But that's just the beginning. Pero es simplemente el principio. Your belief has to affect your behavior. Tu cre tu creer tiene que afectar tu 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 comportamiento. And you have to ask Jesus. Y tienes que pedirle a Jesús. To forgive you of your sins. Que perdone tus pecados. To wash them away. Que los lave. In the blood that he shed. Con la sangre que él vertió. He's the Passover lamb. Él es el cordero pascual. He shed his blood once and for all. Él derramó su sangre de una vez y por todas. And his blood will forgive your sins. Y su sangre va a perdonar tus pecados. And you have to ask him. Pero tienes que pedirle. To come into your life. Que entre a tu vida. And to be your Lord. Y que sea tu señor. That means you can no longer be the Lord. Eso quiere decir que tú no puedes de ser Señor ya of your own life. de tu propia vida I think we could all agree. yo creo que todos estamos de acuerdo we're not equipped for that. no estamos equipados para eso we were never meant to be. Nunca, nunca fue ese el, el, el designio that we should be the Lord of que our nosotros own life. seríamos nuestro propio Señor It should be Jesus. es Jesús He created us. Él nos creó He knows how we're supposed to live. Él sabe cómo debemos vivir He knows how our life's supposed Él to function. sabe cómo nuestra vida debe funcionar so I want to lead you right now. así que quiero dirigir Ahora, in prayer en, or en oración I'm going to say a prayer yo voy a hacer una oración and you're going to repeat after y tú me la vas a repetir de después de mí but it it's my words pero son mis palabras but it needs to come from your heart pero tiene que venir de tu corazón so I need everybody praying right now quiero a todo el mundo orando ahora I want everybody praying right now todo el mundo orando ahora we're going after people estamos a, a, a buscando gente we're reaching estamos alcanzando for the sheep a aquellas ovejas that Jesus is trying to bring in right Jesús now quiere traer a a, a, a dentro. So if you're far from Jesus right now, si estás lejos de Jesús, I want to lead you in prayer. Quiero llevarte en oración. Repeat after me. Repite conmigo. And you're going to see God do something great. Y vas a ver a Dios hacer algo grande. This is not an event. Esto no es un evento. This is just the first step. Este es el primer paso. You, you need to belong to a church. Necesitas ir a una iglesia. Be a part of a family y of God. Y ser parte de la familia de Dios. So you can be trained. Para que se pueda and ser entrenado y equipado. To follow Jesus. Para seguir a Jesús. To be his disciple. Para ser su discípulo. To be a son. Para ser su hijo. Or a daughter. O hija. Of God. De Dios. And so I want to lead you in prayer right now. Quiero dirigirte en oración ahora. Say, Lord, I come to you. Dile, Señor, vengo a ti. Confessing. Confesando. That I've been the Lord of my own life. Que he sido Señor de mi propia vida. And I've sinned against you. Y que he pecado contra ti. But I believe. Pero yo creo. That Jesus died on the cross. Que Jesús murió en la cruz. For my sins. Por mis pecados. So I ask you. Así que te pido. To forgive me of my sins. Que perdones mis pecados. To wash them away. Que los laves. In the blood of Jesus. En la sangre de Jesús. My Passover lamb. Mi cordero pascual. And I ask you y te pido to come into my life. que entres a mi vida. Fill me with your spirit. Que me llenes con tu espíritu. Right now. Ahora. I say Hosanna. Y digo Hosanna. Save now. Sálvame ahora. Right now. Ahora. For your glory. Para tu gloria. And help me. Y ayúdame. By your spirit. Por tu espíritu. That will dwell in me. Que, que, que estará en mí. To follow you. 
para seguirte the rest of my days, todos los días de mi all vida the way into eternity, hasta la eternidad for your glory. para tu gloria I thank you te doy gracias for my salvation. por mi salvación for this is why Jesus came. por esto Cristo vino Come on, now thank God for your salvation. ahora dale gracias a Come Dios on, por give, tu salvación give him thanks for your salvation. dale gracias por tu salvación give him praise for your salvation. dale alabanza por tu uh, salvación Come on, you prayed that prayer today. si oraste esa oración Let us know. déjanos saber Let us know so we can pray for you. déjanos saber para orar por ti could be an encouragement to you in any way. Podemos ser una una un, un ánimo para ti. It doesn't matter if you're from Hayward. No importa si eres de Hayward. You can be from another place. Puede ser de otro lugar. You can be from another country. Puede ser de otro país. Or another state. O otro estado. You are saved in Jesus' name. Eres salvo en el nombre de Jesús. And we declare and decree. Y declaramos y decretamos. You shall serve him. Que vas a servirle. And you will follow him. Y vas a seguirle. For the rest of your days. Por todos por el resto de tus días. You will praise him. Vas a alabarle. And you will give him glory. Y vas a darle gloria. I just say, I declare it. You will say, you will be saved. Yo declaro que serás salvo. For a greater purpose. Para un propósito you mayor. You are saved for a greater purpose. Has sido salvo para un propósito mayor. God has a call. Dios tiene un llamado a purpose and a plan for your life. y un propósito para ti, para tu vida. For his glory. Para su gloria. Right now we want to pray. Ahora mismo quiero orar. Right there in your home. Ahí donde estás. I declare provision. Declaro provisión. I declare provision to your home. Declaro provisión sobre tu hogar. For those who right now are wondering where their next meals are going to come from. Para aquellos que están pensando de dónde vendrá su próximo alimento. Or next week. O, o qué sucederá la semana que viene. I declare right now. A, declaro ahora. That God will provide. Que Dios proveerá. He will supply. Él suplirá. All your needs. Todas tus necesidades. According to His riches. De acuerdo a sus riquezas. In glory in Christ en Jesus. En gloria en Cristo Jesús. He'll do it. Él lo hará. For His name's sake. Para por su nombre. And for His glory. Y para su gloria. King David said. El rey David dijo. Never have I seen. Nunca he visto. The righteous forsaken. El justo desamparado. Nor his children. Ni su simiente. Begging for bread. Que mendigue pan. You will not have to beg for bread. No vas a mendigar por pan. You are a child of God. Tú eres un hijo de Dios. He will bring food to you if he has to. Él te traerá comida si tiene que hacerlo. Just like he brought food to Elijah. Así como trajo comida a Elías. In the wilderness. En el desierto. The brook dried up. El el río se secó. There's no food in the desert. No había comida en el desierto. And God literally had. Pero ahí Dios literalmente had ravens fly food to him. Tuvo cuervos llevarle comida a llevarle comida. Because Elijah. Porque Elías was a child of God. Era un hijo de Dios. A servant of God. Un siervo de Dios. If he did it for Elijah, si lo hizo por Elías, he'll do it for you. Lo va a hacer por ti. I'm reminded of 5,000 people. Estoy recordado de 5,000. Including, including women and children Inclu beyond that. Inclu y si incluimos a los niños y mujeres, eran más. They had listened to Jesus teach all day long. Que escucharon a Jesús todo el día. They were tired. Y estaban cansados. Jesus' disciples said, we need to feed them. Y los discípulos le dijeron a Jesús, Te tenemos que alimentarlos. But we don't have anything. Pero no tenemos nada. Jesus said, bring me what you do have. Jesús le dijo, tráeme lo que tienes. Two loaves. Dos, dos uh, panes. And five fish. Y cinco peces. And Jesus fed thousands. Y Jesús alimentó a miles. Jesus will do it for you. Jesús lo hará por ti también. He's the same yesterday. Él es el mismo ayer. Today. Él es el mismo hoy. And forever. Y por siempre. I pray for the sick right now. Oro por los enfermos ahora. Right now I declare. Ahora declaro. That he was wounded for your transgressions. Que él fue herido por nuestras transgresiones. Bruised for your iniquities. Molido por nuestros pecados. Chastisement of our peace. Nuestra paz. Was upon him. Fue sobre él. And by his stripes, y por su llaga, we are healed. Fuimos nosotros You're healed. Curados. Eres curado. Psalm 107, Salmo 107 says he sent his word. Dice que él envió su palabra, and he healed them. Y los sanó. There was a centurion, Hubo un centurion who had a servant que tuvo un, un siervo, who was sick que estaba enfermo, unto death. Estaba enfermo a muerte. He, he came in faith y él vino en fe, and told Jesus, y le dijo a Jesús, please heal my servant. Sana a mi, a mi siervo. He's a good servant. Es un buen siervo. And Jesus said, okay, I'll go. Jesús le dijo, Está bien, yo voy. He said, no, I'm a man under authority. Y él dijo, yo soy un hombre en, con autoridad. I understand how authority works. Entiendo cómo trabaja la autoridad. You don't need to go. Tú no necesitas ir. Just speak a word. Habla una palabra. Just Send a word. Di la palabra. And 
my servant will be healed. Y mi siervo será salvo. And the scripture says, y la palabra dice, at that very moment, que en ese momento, that his servant was healed. Su siervo fue and sano. Got up. Y se levantó. We stand on the word of God. Nos paramos sobre la palabra de Dios. Psalm 107. Salmo 107. And the gospel story. Y, y en la historia del, del, del evangelio. And we declare the word of God. Declaramos la palabra de It's Dios. It's flowing into your house right now. Es que está fluyendo dentro de tu hogar ahora. The healing virtue of Jesus. La virtud sanadora de Jesús. It's flowing to your home right está now. Está entrando en tu hogar ahora. To your life right now. A tu vida ahora. He's touching your body. Él está tocando tu hogar. He's tu, touching your mind. Cuerpo y tu mente. He's touching your emotions right está now. Está tocando tus Come emociones. Come on, receive it in the name Recibe of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and begin to give him thanks. Levanta tus manos y comienza a alabarle. Give thanks for your healing. Dale gracias por tu sanidad. Come on, thank him for your healing right now. Dale gracias por tu sanidad ahora. Ahora. Begin to touch. Comienza a tocar. Right now, that area. Esa área. That needs healing. Que necesita sanidad. Come on, if it's your body. Si es tu cuerpo. Put your hand on your head. Pon tu tu mano sobre tu cabeza. Put your hand right here and say, I'm healed in Jesus' name. Pon tu mano sobre tu cabeza y dice, soy sano en el nombre de Jesús. Señor, pedimos que sean sanos ahora. Right now, receive healing in the name of Jesus. Recibe sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. Get up out of that bed. Sal de esa cama. Get out of that chair. Levántate de esa silla. Do what you couldn't do. Haz lo que no podías hacer. Before we started praying. Antes de nosotros orar. And declare your healing in the name of Declara Jesus. Declara tu sanidad en el nombre de I Jesús. I declare you're healed in Jesus' name. Declaramos que eres sano en el nombre de Jesús. Let's take a moment and worship. Vamos a tomar un momento para alabar. benediction today. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May he bless you indeed.
bendice, que te bendiga. Enlarge your territory. Y que la, a, agrande tu territorio. That his hand be with you. Que su mano sea sobre ti. That he keep you from evil. Que te guarde del mal. And allow you to cause no harm. Y, y que no, no entres en ningún mal. For his name's sake and for his glory. Por su nombre y su gloria. May you shine the light. Que él pueda alumbrar la luz. Of the glory of Jesus Christ. De la gloria de Jesús. Brighter than ever before. Más que más que todo en otro tiempo. For his name's sake. Por su nombre. And for his glory. Y por su gloria. In Jesus' name we pray. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. Amen and amen. Amen y amen. God bless you. Dios te bendiga. We love you. Te amamos. Thank you for joining us. Gracias por estar con nosotros. May the Lord's blessing upon your life. Y la bendición del Señor sea sobre sus vidas. We'll, we'll be staying connected. We'll stay connected. Nos vamos a, a, a mantener conectados. On Facebook. En Facebook. And on our website. Y en nuestra en nuestro web. Bless you. Dios te bendiga.